Happy Halloween to one and all of you. Today we are reacting. Well, I actually have a compilation of over 14 horror stories. And there's a probability it will all add up into one hour. So, just letting you know, this might be a one hour video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell, and hit the like button so you can join the gamer family. And I'll leave all of these videos in the link of the in the description. I promise you that. And let's just get it. And always, I will always put my Instagram name in the description so you guys can come and follow me. Okay, let's start it from number one to number 14. Let's do this. This, this happened, happened in 2009. 2009. Okay, we were flying from our home state, state in California, California to Minnesota, Minnesota to visit, visit my, my father's family, family for the summer. summer. I've always, I've always enjoyed, enjoyed it there because, there because of the, of the nature, nature of the peaceful, peaceful atmosphere. atmosphere. My, my father's, father's family, family lived, lived far from the nearest, nearest town, town. and he only, he only had, had two neighbors. neighbors. I give props to every animator in every video. I give props to all of them because they are good. They put in so much detail. Because this, you see right here, I can't draw that, okay? I can't draw that. Maybe you can. You can. If you can, put a, pic a picture down below. Send me a link of you of a picture, and I'll look at it. And, yeah, I give props to every peop every person who me makes these animators animations. I give props to you guys if you're watching. My, My only friend, friend there, there was a girl, a girl who lived next door. door. Let's, Let's call, call her Morgan. Morgan. She's, She's around, around my age, and me and my sister, sister and her would always play, play from sunrise, sunrise to sunset. sunset. One, One day, day at around 4 p.m., we were, were outside, outside playing, playing badminton. badminton. My Batman sister converted too, too hard, hard and, and landed, landed in the next door neighbor's yard. yard. Morgan, Morgan said she had more inside her house and went to get them. I felt uncomfortable leaving it there, so I told my sister I'll go get it myself. She told, she told me not, me not to, do to do it and just, just wait, wait for Morgan. Morgan. While my While sister, sister was, was fixing the net, net I, decided I decided to run and get it real quick. quick. As, As I was, I was about, about to enter the gate, gate my sister grabbed me from behind and began telling me how much of a bad idea it was. was. That's when That's an, old an old man came, came out from behind the house. house. He picked, picked up the birdie, birdie and said, Is this yours? I said yes and asked if I could have it back. He said, he said he had, had his grandchildren old toys, toys upstairs, upstairs and asked if we wanted to have them. them. Me and my yeah, sister were very young at the time. We thought, thought as he lived, lived so close and he looked, looked like a typical sweet grandfather. grandfather. What's the, the worst that could happen? happen. So, so we, we agreed, agreed and entered through the back, back door. door. The first, first thing, thing I noticed was the stench. It smelled of damp and rotting food. I shrugged it off at the time since he was old. Maybe he lived alone. We heard, we heard Morgan, Morgan calling our names, names, and we politely we told, the told the old man, man that we had to go, go and maybe we'd return, return tomorrow. tomorrow. Morgan, Morgan saw us through the window, window and immediately asked what, what we were doing there. there. I answered, the sweet, sweet old man? And she, she cut, cut me off and said that the house was abandoned since, since she moved there. there. I, thought I thought she was just playing around with me and told me to cut it out. She had a blank expression, and that's when I knew that she was serious. We never told anyone because we didn't want to cause any trouble. But now that I'm older, I wonder if it was some ghost or creepy old man luring kids into that house. The house got demolished recently, which is why I want to share the story. That's good, but also scary. Hey, I just wanted. To... Okay, um, before the video, this video, is, I'm gonna read this for you guys. Hey guys, I just wanted. Wait, what? Hey guys, I just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who entered the giveaway. Okay. This video was uploaded years ago, so I wasn't in the giveaway. All of you are talented artists. Here are some of my favorites. Okay. Wow, that's nice. That's good. It's really good. Okay, that's very tough. Everyone is creative. Oh, that's so scary. 
goes to is okay. Thank, Thank you for sticking, sticking around, around to the, the end, end of the video. video. If, you if you would like, would like to, support to support the channel, the channel check, check out, out the merch link, link in the video, video description. description. As I said, I'm going to leave every video in the link in the description so you guys can watch it. And we're just going to skip. If this creepy ghost haunted story. Number two. Let's go. This happened, this happened about, about five, five years, years ago, ago when I was 21. 21. Me and my, Me and my friend, friend Seth got, got into this app, app which showed the ghosts. ghosts. Oh, my, uh, one of my friends, if you know her, um, uh, Wolfie the Masked Spy Ninja, she actually has that. We went on a school field trip. Well, not a school field trip. It's only band members. It was last day she had it, and we we would, like, play around with it. Go out, Go out ghost, ghost hunting, hunting but, but nothing much, much would happen. Would happen. Sometimes, Sometimes a dot, dot would appear, appear on one of our phones, phones and, it and it would say random, random words. words. We, would we would ask, ask how did you die? And stuff, stuff like that. that. And sometimes, Sometimes the answers lined up, up, but it was mostly random. random. One, One night, around 2 a.m., Seth suggested going, going to the cemetery, cemetery to see if the app picked anything up. up. I, was I was hesitant, but I nervously agreed. agreed. We, started we started making our way through the neighborhood towards the cemetery. Okay, first of all, never go into a cemetery at night. That's like the first law. That's that's my law. I don't know if other people do that, but don't go into the cemetery at night. I like scary stuff, but like... That's like, there's there's a limit, and people dance over the limit. Some people jump over the limit, and go in there at night, a cemetery at night. It's going fifty meters away, f into the limit. So cemetery. cemetery. Don't do it. It was, it was weird. weird. The streets are normally lined with cars, cars but, but they were empty, empty on this night. night. We walked, we walked down, down the middle, middle of the road, road with, with the app running, running but, but it wasn't, wasn't picking anything up. up. We finally, we finally made it to the cemetery, cemetery which was a small, family-owned family one where they only buried their own. own. Seth, Seth went up to the gate and started shouting, shouting hoping to get a response, response on the app, app but nothing happened. I was standing, standing in the road, road feeling unsettled when, when Seth starts yelling, yelling Is that, is that all, all you got? got? I told him to stop disrespecting the dead and we should leave. He tried being funny, saying, Oh, I'll make him show up. He jumped the gate and started stomping the graves while screaming, Come on, show us something. All of a sudden, our phone said something at the same time. I looked down at my phone, and it was there. We both just stood there, looking at each other, when ten or so red dots appeared on the radar, and it said it again. When I looked back up from my phone, Seth was next to me. I said, We have got to go. As soon as, as I said, said that, that, I could hear the street lights turning, turning off one by, by one from the, from the top of the street, street getting closer, closer to us. We took, we took off running, running as fast as we could. So scary. We got we about, about halfway into the neighborhood before running out of breath and having to stop. stop. I felt, I felt like, like I was going to throw up from, from being scared and winded. Then I heard my phone say something. It was muffled, but I knew what it said. Being too scared to look at my phone, I looked at Seth, who looked terrified. He nodded, he nodded at me to get, get my phone out, so I slowly pulled it out, and it said my name across the top. The top. I, turned I turned my phone, phone off and said, Screw this, I'm done. We made, we made our, our way, way back, back to my house, house and had a had cigarette to calm, to calm down. down. We were we talking, talking about, Don't do drugs, kids! What just happened, almost not, not believing it, when I heard my phone again. This time, it was my sister's name. We just, we just stood, stood there, there frozen, frozen, not, not saying, saying a word, word when it went, went off again and said my brother's name. name. I took, I took my, my phone out, turned it on, on and deleted, deleted the, app. the app. I asked, I asked Seth, Seth to stay, stay the, the night, night but, but he refused. He refused. I, can't I can't blame him. him. When, when I, finally I finally got, got to sleep that night, I dreamt a muffled voice repeating a word over and over. I started to wake up and the words became clearer. My phone, My phone was, was off, with, with the battery, the battery out. out. But when, but when I, turned I turned it over, it, over, it was, was lit, lit up with the app running. running. It, it had, had a red dot, dot about, about six, six feet, feet from me, me still, still repeating. repeating.
I woke up the next morning and went to the bathroom. I had a very thin cut from my left shoulder to my right hip. I don't know what happened that night, and nothing has happened to me since. Needless to say, I don't know what's going to happen to stuff anymore. I don't do that. Don't do scary stuff, okay? Don't. Because, like, it's gonna end up. Thank you to SP Pen, Pen for sponsoring this video. This, video. this animation, animation was made using, using the Artist 22E Pro. E Pro. For, more for more information, information please check, check the video, video description. description. Uh, let's go to the next video. True Unexpected Video Horror Story. Number three. This is the third horror story. Let's get into it. I was, I was a total, total video, video game, game addict. Oh, I would play it from day, day to night. night. Of, of course, course, my, my mom hated the fact, fact that, that I always focused, focused on games and not, not so much on the important, important stuff. stuff. She would, she would always, always hide, hide my phone so that I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to use, use it. it. Every, Every time, time she confiscated my, my phone, I was swallowed by boredom. I didn't have anything to do when I couldn't play. This always Some happens to me. If, if I had free time, time, I would, I would try, try to find the spot where my mom hid my, hit my phone. phone. But I always failed. But the only thing I knew for sure was that, that she, she hid, hid my phone in, in one, one specific room. room. A room, a room with, a with a lot, lot of cabinets, cabinets filled, filled with stuff and junk, and junk which, which made, made it really hard, hard to find my phone. One day, when my when mom, mom hid my phone again, I suddenly came up with an idea. I asked myself why I hadn't thought of secretly recording her to see where she hid my phone, so that when she was finally done hiding it somewhere, I could go inside and watch the footage. Then I could finally get my phone back for good. So I finally got my phone back, mainly because I needed it for means of communication while in school. Once, Once I got, I got home, home, I purposely made my, made my mother annoyed until, until she confiscated it. <laughs> and that's exactly, exactly what, what she did. did. But, but before, before she confiscated it, it I, quickly I quickly put the put camera, camera inside, inside the room, room when she, she didn't, didn't notice. notice. I put, I put the, the camera, camera in the corner of the room, of the room so, that so that I could see everything. everything. I was I really excited, excited to know where her secret hiding place was. Finally, she came out of the room, which meant she finished hiding it. When she, when she was finally, finally gone, gone, I went, I went inside, inside the room and grabbed, and grabbed my, my camera. camera. I quickly I played, played the video. At first, I looked at the duration, at the duration of the video. It was, it was seven minutes long. It must, it must have, have taken, taken a lot of time for her to hide it. it. I started to skip until I could see my mom inside the room. I skipped for about six minutes, but she still wasn't shown on the screen. I was confused. But, but I told, I told myself, myself that maybe it happened in the first three minutes and I, and I missed it. I went, I went to, the to the beginning of the footage, footage again, but failed, failed to find it. it. I was, I was growing, growing impatient. I played, I played the, whole the whole video even though, though it was long. long. I, I finally, finally reached, reached the last few minutes, minutes of the video, video where I went inside, inside the room to get the camera, camera. but my, my mother, mother was still, still not shown. shown. I was, I was really, really confused. I was seeing the video. But, but I, was I was clearly, clearly in, the in the video when I came in to get, to get the, camera. the camera. I was, I was getting, getting pretty scared, scared at that point. point. In, in person, I saw, I saw my mom enter and, and exit the room with my, my own two eyes. Two eyes. Maybe, Maybe the, the camera, camera failed, failed to capture, capture it, but that's, that's impossible. My, my mom, mom noticed that, that I was quieter, quieter than before. Than before. I, was I was stressed and my eyebrows were furrowed. My mom, my mom asked, asked me what was wrong. wrong. I, got I got my camera, camera and, and showed her the footage. I explained, I explained it to her as well. She, she said, said that maybe the camera cut out the footage, but something, something was really wrong here. here. I, I asked her if she did, in fact, enter the room, room and, and of course she answered, she answered yes. yes. I felt, I felt goosebumps, goosebumps all over my skin, skin and I was still confused. This, this might, might not be the best scary story I have. But, but it is still running through, through my mind. What, what happened? Why is my mom not in the footage? The, the thing, thing is that in the, the video, video, the door opened. But my, my mom wasn't in the footage. footage. 
That's, That's the, the scariest, scariest part. part. Okay, that was unexpected. Very unexpected. Um, this is our fourth horror story. Before I begin our fourth one, I just wanted to say that if you guys did go trick or treating, uh, hit the like button. Comment down below what you what you guys went for. Uh, what did you guys dress up for Halloween? But other than that, let's continue. It, it was around 5.30 p.m. PM. I, was I was walking, walking in, the in the street to my dormitory since my, since my home is far away from my school. There were, there were only three, three to five people passing by that street at that time. time. While, While walking, walking, I was texting, texting my boyfriend, boyfriend asking him, him if I could come over that night, night since, since I have a project to make and my laptop is being mapped. It won't turn on, so I was hoping I could borrow his laptop. And, and then, then, when, when I, looked I looked up, there was an old man walking, walking towards, towards me. The street, the street was narrow, so I stopped, stopped and moved away, away to, the to the side to make, to make room, room for him, him when he did the same. same. I nervously I laughed and moved to the other, other side, and he, and he copied me again. Me again. This, this time, time I felt a bit nervous. nervous. Um, um, excuse me, I muttered. I tried to get away from him, but he kept blocking my direction. Then he laughed and moved away. I felt relieved. I quickly, I quickly walked, walked past him, him and, then and then he stomped, stomped his feet behind me. me. I, got I got startled and then, and then he laughed. laughed. I, I thought he was just a crazy, crazy old man. man. I told, I told my, my boyfriend, boyfriend about it and he, he asked, asked me if I was okay. okay. So, so I told, I told him, him not to worry. Around, Around 7 p.m. I was, I was at the jeepney stop waiting for a jeepney to arrive. If you don't know what a jeepney is, it's like, it's like a bus, it's sort of like a bus, um, like the OC transpo, but it's not. It's like a school bus, but instead of doors on the side, it's a big door, a big open space at the back that you have to get in. You don't have to pay or anything. It's free. You just have to, the dude just stops at like every two, three blocks, and that's pretty much it. Because, because I, was I was going, going to, my to my boyfriend's, boyfriend's apartment, apartment since, since it was 45, 45 minutes and two, and two rides, rides away. away. 30, 30 or 45, 45 minutes, minutes later, later, there was, was one jeepney with, with only five passengers. So I, so I hopped in. in. One, one by one, one the passengers got off the jeepney until, until I was the only one, one left. left. Drop, Drop me off by the terminal, terminal please, I said. I said. He didn't, he didn't say, say a word, word just, just kept, kept on driving. driving. When, we, when finally we finally got into the terminal, he didn't, he didn't stop. stop. Um, um, just, just drop, drop me off here, here please. please, I told, I told him, him again. again. Then, then I saw his face in the rear view mirror. mirror. It was, it was the crazy, crazy man, man from earlier. earlier. I, I panicked. panicked. He was, he was looking, looking at me, smiling. I immediately called my boyfriend. Since we don't have 911 here, he wasn't picking me up. What? I didn't know what to do. Should I don't jump off the jeep? police or anything? Then suddenly, then suddenly a group of friends, friends halted, halted the jeep, the jeep and, stopped. and stopped. I immediately got off and ran. ran. I, might I might have looked like a maniac, maniac to those teenagers, teenagers but, but I didn't care. care. I, called I called my boyfriend, boyfriend again, again, who finally picked, picked up. up. He had he just, just got, got off from school, school and I told him everything. everything. He picked me up where, where I was, and since then he never let me travel at night. This is, this is a story. This is the fifth video. Means that we are not halfway, but we're kind of getting there. And uh, comment down below which one you find out which is the scariest out of all of them. Or which and uh, send the link of a video or like go. Put, I'll put my email in the description. My horror email, so you guys can come and talk to me, and you guys can tell me your horror story, and I'll uh, I'll say it. Other than that, let's just continue our fifth video. Let's do this. Story of when I met a serial killer on the bus. I was working at a construction job late in the city, but lived out in the suburbs. I had done so a couple times before, so I was used to being the only one on the last bus. I really, I really didn't mind since, since it was a great chance to catch up on some much needed sleep. sleep. So, it so it was unusual when the bus stopped. stopped. I, looked I looked out the out window, window and it was nearly pitch, pitch black. black. There, there weren't, weren't any houses, houses around, around, so we must have been on one of those random roads before a highway. highway. 
Then, then a man, a man came, came aboard, aboard the bus. The bus. At a at first, first glance, glance, he was an older, older gentleman, gentleman who was at least in his 50s. But other, but other than that, that I, didn't I didn't pay much attention because, because there didn't, didn't seem to be anything unusual about, about him. I mean, I, mean, I, was, I was a little, a little curious, curious as to what he was doing at this time of night. But ultimately, that was none of my business. So I put my AirPods back in as he made his way towards the back of the bus. Oddly, Oddly enough, enough, he chose to sit directly, directly behind, behind me. It was, it was uncomfortable, uncomfortable to say the least, so I contemplated moving, moving seats, seats, but I didn't, I didn't want, want to be rude. rude. Suddenly, Suddenly, I felt, I felt a, tap a tap on my shoulder. shoulder. Huh? huh? I asked, I asked as, as I pulled out one of my AirPods. AirPods. I said, I like your boots. The man repeated. If you look closely, you can see his eyes and his teeth. Oh, his whole face. If you look very close, you come in. Yeah, if you look close, you can see his whole face. Oh, uh, uh thank, thank you. you. I, I had, had a bunch of hairs exactly, exactly like for years, years and years. A good one for boot, boot, you know? You know? Strange, Strange, because I don't take up the construction, construction type. type. They definitely, they definitely are. are. I use them like every day on the job. job. And where's, where's that? that? Uh, uh terminal construction? construction? Ah, ah, yes, yes. yes. You're building that big old thing up on a staff, ain't Yes, sir. It's going to be one of the biggest in the city. So, so it seems, seems. I, used I used to do construction, construction too, you know. You know. That, that was, was way, way back in the day. day. Probably, Probably when your mom was still just a toddler. toddler. Oh yeah? yeah. With a company, company or freelance, or... freelance or... My papa had a small, had a small construction and carpentry, carpentry business. business. He hired me on when I was, oh, oh maybe 15, 15 or so. so. That, that was, was all the way back in 1962. We built houses mostly. A couple small apartment complexes. Nothing, Nothing as, as big as what you're working on. on. Did you did like it? Boy, Boy you, you bet, bet your ass, ass I did. Working, working all day was a free gym, gym membership. membership. Ha! Plus, Plus, all the perks, all the perks that, that came with it. Perks? Can you keep, keep a secret, secret boy? boy? Yes, yes, sir. You ever played play in a construction site as a child? When I was a little one. Me and my buddies would sneak into houses being built and explore. Maybe, Maybe break, break a couple, a couple bottles, bottles here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, neighbors my neighbors and I used to do that too when I was a kid. kid. My house was probably one of the first built in our neighborhood. Then the, the rest came later. later. We probably explored, explored every house on the block before, before they were finished. When they were just, just wood skeletons. skeletons. <laughs> Maybe break a couple bottles too. Of course it did. Who wouldn't? Give me the opportunity. But that's all the childish stuff. The real perks came later in life when I was an adult. Oh? Oh, oh yes, yes boy. boy. Imagine, Imagine this. this. The year is 1980 with no, no cell phones in sight. You talk with a pretty lady, lady at the local bar and hit it up. You tell her about your new construction project and she, she wants, wants to go, go see it. it. Uh huh. Well, then, well, then you, you take, take her there. there. You, you and her all alone in a, in a skeleton, skeleton of a home, as you said. said. How so? How so? Well, well, you don't, you don't just, just take, take girl, girl down, down to the construction, to the construction site at night just to get, get your diddly, diddly fiddled with. with. You, you take, take her for, for you, know. you know. No, no I, I don't, don't know. know. For the, for the easy, easy disposal, disposal, boy. Disposal? Cut, Cut the girl up, up. Or, or do whatever, do whatever your preference is. is. You do whatever you want to do with her and you put her you bury her in your, your stained clothes, clothes in there, there too. Once, Once the job's, the job's done, done, no one's, no one's ever gonna see that stuff, stuff again. again. It's, it's gone. gone. Eventually, Eventually, brand new house, house is sitting on top of your deed. deed. Well, well, this, this is, is my, my stop. stop. The only the thing that runs in my mind is a memory. When, when I was a kid, no older than six, my friends and I were playing hide and seek. I hid I in the crawl space under my front porch, porch. And, when and when I was, I was hiding, hiding, I found, found a pair of boots, half buried in the dirt. dirt. The exact the same type of boots I was wearing then, then on the bus. The, the exact same type of boots we found in the crawl spaces of every house in our neighborhood. Oh, boy. That's scary. Not like all houses are like haunted or something. Six video, creepy, deep web horror story. A few years ago, while I was in high school, the deep web was becoming very popular. 
I never, I never really, really got, got into it until my, my friend told me about it because he was into that weird stuff. stuff. One day, One day after, after school, school, I had, I had nothing, nothing to do, so, so I went, went on to the browser tour. tour. I didn't, I didn't really, really see much, so I called, called my, my friend, friend over, over so he could help me out. out. Once, Once he got, he got to, my to my house, we started, we started searching, searching more and more. And more. We, saw we saw a lot of drugs, drugs and illegal weapons, weapons and stuff, stuff like that. that. Then he they clicked on a link that was in the chat room. And the and link, link said, said, watch, watch this. this. As, As we're, we're sitting there, there we're, just we're just staring at the screen, screen that went from black, black to the outside, outside of the building, building within, within a few seconds. seconds. And out of nowhere, a nowhere, sticky note, note that, that said, want to see something cool? cool? So then, so I, then typed, I typed, yeah, yeah sure. sure. What was, what was weird, weird was the guy, guy who typed. Type. He, he just showed sticky note to the camera. And he also never spoke. All of, All of a sudden, sudden the, camera the camera started, started moving toward, toward the building that it was, that it was facing. facing. As we're, As we're watching, watching him move toward the building, building we, noticed we noticed that the building, building was in our neighborhood. Then he, then he quit, quit moving, moving and put another sticky note, note that said LOL. That, that, that kind of creeped me out. out. And then and the then person in the building, building which was eerily dark. Eerily dark. The, camera the camera stopped, stopped at a padlock door, door and then unlocked it and opened it. The camera moved toward the back of this dark room. And there, and there was a dog, a dog bowl on the floor. floor. Now, now at this, this point, point, the camera, the camera was only facing, facing the dog bowl. A few, a few moments, moments later, later, whoever the person, person was, was that was holding, holding the, camera, the camera put something, something in the bowl, bowl that, that looked, looked like, like just slop. slop. Honestly, Honestly, it looked like feces. Like feces. Then you then hear another door open, open and a girl, and a girl crying, crying in the background. Alone, alone with a chain drag. Right. This girl showed up in the camera crying. With a chain, chain around, around her neck. neck. And the and guy, guy shoved her face in the bowl and put the sticky note in front of the, of the camera, camera that said, cool, cool. Right? right? Then the, then screen, the screen goes black. black. We, we sat, sat there, there for about 10 minutes, minutes in disbelief. disbelief. But the, but the screen, screen was still, was still alive. alive. Then I don't, I don't know, know where the camera, the camera was back home. home. Then it was then in the corner of the street. Then another sticky note that said, 545 East 99 Street off of St. Clair. That, that was, was my address. address. Then, then another, another sticky, sticky note that said, said open the door. door. We, we sat there confused, confused and I don't, I don't know where. I knocked, I knocked at the, the door. door. I, grabbed I grabbed my phone, phone jumped, jumped up, and we, and both, we both ran, ran to, the to the back door. door. Then we then heard a knock, knock at that door, door right before, before I grabbed, I grabbed the handle. handle. At that, that point, point, we had someone at the back door and someone at the front door knocking. We were stuck. Critical, Critical thinking, thinking wasn't my strength, strength at that point. point. We ran, we ran upstairs, upstairs, called, called the, cops the cops, and locked ourselves in the room. The cops showed up, but no one was outside. Only I had the cops found 160 notes, all of my address written on I told the cops about the building with the girl, and they found it. Then they found it. The, girl the girl was 14, 14 and had been missing for five weeks. We moved out of that house within a week. But... I would never, never visit the deep, deep or the or dark, dark web, web again. again. Don't go on the dark web. That's all I ask for you guys. Never go on the dark web. Because one, they can track you, make you do bad stuff, and you can go missing or you can get killed. Okay? I care for this all of you. I don't want when you to be a junior high school student. So what is this? A true countryside horror story animated. I believe this One is morning, morning, during, during summer, summer vacation. vacation. After, After my, my father, father went to work, work. Let me my say, mother, mother and I yeah, decided we're to visit there. my we're maternal grandmother, grandmother who lived in a, in a rural, rural, area. rural area. Since, Since my, my grandmother's, grandmother's house, house was located in the countryside, in the countryside getting, getting there required, required making a left, left turn, turn, then driving, driving for five minutes through a narrow, one-car-wide, unpaved road. There were, there were rice, rice fields, fields and forests forest on the sides side of the unpaved road. road. As soon as, as we arrived, arrived I greeted my grandmother, then, then went into my, my youngest, youngest uncle's room. room. I, used I used to like visiting, visiting my, my grandmother's, grandmother's house, because, because my uncle was, was a huge gaming, gaming fan, and his, and his computer was much better than mine at home. So once I confirmed my uncle was at work, I turned on his computer and started playing Doom 3, which used to be the most popular game once upon a time. After playing the game for about an hour or two, my uncle returned from work. Upon his arrival, my grandmother asked him to take her grocery shopping, 
since, since my, my mother, mother, my aunt, and, and, and I were I visiting, visiting her, her house. So at so about, about 7, 7 p.m., they, they all drove, drove to town to, town to do, do some, some grocery, grocery shopping. shopping. I was, I was super, super excited, excited and waved, waved goodbye, goodbye to them. Since, since I, think I think it is unnecessary, unnecessary to, explain to explain why, why I, was I was excited, excited I'll, just I'll just leave, leave it. it. After, After enjoying, enjoying about 90, 90 minutes of free time, my uncle called. He said he was about to turn left on the road. But one, well, one of the front, of the front wheels, wheels was punctured, punctured and, asked and asked me to bring, me to bring him a new tire, tire which was in the storage shed. shed. As, As I said, I said before, before, after, after making, making that, that left turn, turn it, took it took about five, about five minutes, minutes to drive, drive through, through a narrow, narrow unpaved, unpaved single-lane single road to see, to see my, my grandmother's, grandmother's house. house. But it but took it about 20 to 30 minutes on foot. Now that I think about it, it was quite scary to walk on that road, especially at night. It had, it had no, no streetlights street and was and surrounded, surrounded by rice, rice fields, fields and forests. Forest. It was it almost, almost 9 p.m. And, and that area, area got, got quite dark, dark at about, about 8 because, because it was, it was in, in the country. country. So, to, so be to be honest, honest I, was I was really scared. scared. But, but not, not wanting, wanting anyone, anyone to know I was a coward, coward I, decided I decided to go. go. I grabbed the tire, left the house, and started walking along the unpaved road. I could, I could see, see my, my uncle shining, shining his car's, his car's headlights, headlights toward me. me. That, that said, said, he was still quite far, far away from, from me, and the, and the headlights, headlights looked, looked like two big, big yellow dots. dots. I was, I was a, bit a bit relieved, relieved knowing, knowing my, my uncle and family were on, were on the, the other end, end of this road. road. But, the but the night was dark, dark which deepened my fear. fear. You know, you know when, when you walk in the darkness, your eyes adjust, and you start to see unclear shapes. I felt, I felt like I could see, see someone, someone standing, standing in the rice field, field and someone, someone sitting, sitting down, down, resting his chin on his hands, hands and looking, and looking at, at me through, through the bushes. bushes. I broke, I broke out, out in a cold sweat, sweat and held my legs, legs to keep them from shaking. shaking. It, felt it felt scarier than being alone, alone on, a on a pitch dark, dark night. night. And because, and because of, the of the fear and the delusion I had created, I remember feeling really dizzy. After walking for about 20 minutes, I looked, I looked towards, towards my uncle's car, car and realized, realized I was nearly, nearly there. there. Feeling, Feeling happier, happier, I rolled, I rolled the, tire the tire faster. I rushed, I rushed to hand, hand over the tire, tire to him as soon as possible, but saw something, something in front of me. Front of me. I, wasn't I wasn't sure what it was, because, because it was still a bit away from, from me, but it, but was, it was something dark. dark. Suddenly, Suddenly, I felt strange and slowed down. Since, Since I wanted, I wanted to, determine to determine what it was, what it was while, while still, still having some distance, distance I, strained I strained my head, head and neck trying, trying to look, look carefully, carefully, but it but was, it was too, too dark. Although, Although I was scared, I started, I started to walk, walk again, again thinking, thinking nothing is going to happen, happen because I have my, my own family about 300, 300 meters away. away. But when but I got closer to it, I stopped because it became clearly visible. It was, was an old, an old woman, woman squatting, squatting with her, with her mouth, mouth open, looking at the, at the rice fields. fields. I could, I could only, only see the side of her face, but my, but my whole body, body shivered because, because her blank facial expression, expression with her mouth, mouth open was now, was now clearly, clearly visible, visible in the darkness. darkness. Without, Without realizing it, I walked, I walked really close, close to the old woman. woman. For reasons, For reasons I, don't I don't understand, understand. Walking, walking by without saying anything seemed even scarier. So, so I, started I started talking, talking to her. To her. With, a With a frightened, frightened voice, voice, I asked, Excuse, excuse me, what, what are, are you doing here at night? night? But she, but she did, did not respond, respond and kept, kept looking, looking at the rice, rice field. field. On the On verge, verge of crying, crying I, shouted, I shouted, Excuse me! me. She then she looked, looked at me, me and, and I felt my heart, heart tightening. Even, Even though it was dark, I could, I could clearly, clearly see she had her white, white hair, hair, and I could, I could only see the white parts, parts of, her of her eyes. The scariest thing were the huge wrinkles and stains covering her face and her wide her mouth. mouth. I, felt I felt strange, like, like I, was I was going crazy, crazy while looking at her. I had eye contact, contact, but was, was looking down, down while she was looking, looking up, up at me. After a few moments of eye contact, she turned, she turned her body, her body toward, toward me. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I thought, I thought she, she was sitting, sitting down, down. But realized she had, she had no lower body. body. She, she only, only had, had a torso and, and head which was supported, was supported from, the from the ground with, with two, two arms. arms. A, flood a flood of thoughts, of thoughts crossed, crossed my mind. mind. But, but I, I remember, remember thinking, 
there, there is, is Satan, Satan right, right in front, in front of, of me. me. I felt, I felt like, like she was going to run into me with her two arms if I didn't, didn't move. move. So, so I grabbed, I grabbed the, tire the tire in my arms, my arms and, sprinted and sprinted with my, with my eyes closed tightly. tightly. Without, Without remembering, remembering how long, long I'd been running, running I, suddenly I suddenly felt relieved. relieved. It, was it was the next, the next morning, morning, and I was, and I was in, in my grandmother's room. room. When I when asked my mother what happened, what happened she, she said she was waiting for me in the car and saw me sprinting with my head down, holding the tire in my arms, and suddenly fell off the road. Causing, causing my family, family to come, come out, out of the, the car, car shocked. After, After listening, listening to my, to my mother, I told, I told her and my other family members what I went through. through. Thinking, Thinking I had suffered a heat stroke, stroke. That, that evening, evening my, my grandmother, grandmother made me chicken, chicken soup. soup. My, my uncle, uncle told me to stop playing horror games, games and, wouldn't and wouldn't let me play Doom 3 anymore. From then on, I could only play a Star Wars racing game while staying at my grandmother's house. I still, I still believe, believe it, was it was not a ghost, a ghost that, that I saw that day. day. It, was it was just an illusion, illusion caused, caused by my mental, mental weakness. weakness. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. It's my name, name is Victor, Victor and, I'm and I'm 23 years, years old. old. I have, I have a story, a story that, happened that happened to me when I was, I was 17, 17 years, years old. I work, I work as, as a carpenter, carpenter in a local building, building company, and this, this happened at the period when I was a trainee, was a trainee for, for the same company. company. We, were we were renovating, renovating a very, very old apartment, apartment building, building from, from around, around the 1960s that was, that was going, going to be school, school classrooms, classrooms for a school, school that had bought the building. building. As many, As many carpenters, carpenters we, were we were working on Friday, Friday which, which basically means that we started earlier the rest of the week, of the week so, so we could go home early on Fridays, on Fridays which, which means it was a lot, lot of very early mornings. mornings. So, so one day, day I, was I was on my way, way to work at about 4.30 in the morning, in the morning. I was, was walking, walking the usual way to my bus, bus. It, was it was about one kilometer. It was through the block I was living on, and then through a small path in the forest, about 200 meters. Can you guys give me one second? I have to pause this, I'm sorry. Sorry about that, it was just my aunt, uh, she's watching her By this time in the loud. morning, it was still pitch black, black. Because, because it was, it was winter, winter and I live in Sweden. Sweden. So, the so the path through the forest was like, like a black, black hole. hole. So, so I, I grabbed my phone, phone and put the flashlight on. An, an old iPhone 4S, by, by the way. And began, began walking the small path. path. The About, About halfway, halfway on the path, I heard a crackling noise from my right. And flashed my light in the direction and saw nothing. I just, I just figured, figured it was an animal, animal or something. something. The end of the path, path I heard, I heard the crackling, crackling noise again, again. But, but this, this time, it was, was much, much closer. closer. I had always been, been a little, little paranoid, paranoid in the dark, dark but I was, was trying, trying to get, get over it. it. But I began, I began walking, walking a little, little faster, faster anyway, keeping, keeping an, an eye behind me the whole time. time. When, I when I arrived at the bus station, I sat down, waiting for the bus, and was saying to myself that I was a coward. For being, for being so, so paranoid, paranoid about a small sound, sound I heard. I could, I could see, see the forest I walked through from, from the bus station, station because it was, it was only about 50 meters from, from the station. The station. And when, and when I, looked I looked at the path, I saw, I saw a man standing, standing behind, behind a tree, a tree right, right under a street, street light, light, about 10 meters, meters to the right, to the right of the path, path. and he, he was, was clearly watching me. He was wearing black pants and an old light blue, almost pastel colored jacket, like it was from the 80s. I felt, I felt a, a bit sick, sick when I realized, realized he was watching me, even though it was only, only for about 20 seconds, seconds before, before I saw the bus arrive from around, around the corner. corner. I immediately I felt relief when I saw the bus. The bus. So, so I stepped, I stepped on, the on the bus, and it was, and it was as usual, completely empty. empty. I sat, I sat at, at the back of the bus, bus and looked back, back at the forest to see if the man was still there, but he wasn't. When the bus began to take off, I heard a thud. Right beside, right beside my window, my window. I, quickly I quickly looked at the, at the side and saw, and saw an arm, arm reaching up to my window, window waving at me. And the, and the arm, arm was wearing a light blue jacket. jacket. I didn't, I didn't have, time have time to see his face, face because, because he was, he was wearing, wearing a hood. And the, and the bus, bus had already, already taken, taken off. off. On the, On the way, way down, down to downtown, I tried not to think about the man. But it was so hard because it was so weird. And something like that had never happened to me before. 
I eventually got off the bus at my bus stop and began walking to the building where I had my working clothes and my gear. It was, it was really, really close, close to my bus stop, stop so, it so it only took me maybe about, about five minutes, minutes to walk there. there. When, when I arrived at the door to the building, I grabbed, I grabbed my key and was about to put it in the keyhole. When, when I saw in the corner of my eye, peeking out from the building's corner, that man in the light blue jacket standing, looking at me. I quickly unlocked the door, ran inside, locked it behind me. After that, it was two more doors, both needed an access card. So, so nobody, nobody without, without the car could get inside. inside. After, After the first door, door it was a long hallway. hallway. To the, to the left, left only lit up by a few lights, lights in the roof. roof. In a, in a ring, ring in front of you. It was, it was the second door, door that led to my locker in the coffee room. room. I, ran I ran as fast, fast as, as I could. could. I, was I was shaking, shaking at this time. time. There is there no way, way I could think of how he could have gotten down here so fast. I put on some coffee and changed to my working clothes. It was completely quiet in the room. It felt, it felt like, like hours, hours before, before my coworkers, coworkers showed, showed up. up. When they, when they finally, finally showed up, I felt, felt the best feeling in a, in a long time. time. When, it when it was time, time to get started, started with working, working we, began we began walking towards, towards the elevator, elevator that, that led up to the, to the top, top floor, floor which, which we were currently, currently working, working on. on. When we, when we arrived, arrived at the top floor, I realized I forgot my helmet in the locker. So I took the elevator down, went through the two doors, and got my helmet. It was, it was making, making my, my way back, back up to the, up to the others. others. When, when I had opened, opened the first door and was standing, standing in the dark hallway, I froze. I heard, I heard someone, someone whispering, whispering my name from the back, back of the hallway. hallway. I looked, I looked down, down the hallway and saw the same man. man. The same, same light blue jacket. jacket. He was standing there looking, there looking at, me. at me. Then he, he said something I will never forget. You look so peaceful when you sleep, Victor. He said in a deep but crushing voice, I felt, I felt my, my whole world, world shatter. shatter when he, when said, he said that. that. Then, then I ran, ran for, for it. it. I opened the door, door and slammed it behind, behind me. I ran, I ran into the elevator and smashed the button, button to, the to the top floor. floor. It, it felt, felt like I was going 100 floors before, floors before I got, I got to, the to the top. I ran, I ran into the, the others and told them what happened. They just laughed at me and thought I was silly. Saying that nobody could get in there without a card. I planned to call the police, but I didn't for some reason. Probably, Probably because, because I didn't, didn't want to look, look like a coward, coward in front, in front of, of the others. others. Eventually, I never, I never saw, saw that man again. again. I don't know I don't if, know I, if was I was hallucinating or he was, he was really, really there. there. I have, I have no, no idea. idea. But, but I never, I never walked, walked the same path, path to my bus again. again. And, and I, I always sleep with, with my curtains, curtains down, down, even to this day. day. Ninth video, crazy old guy. When I was, when I was seven, seven or eight, eight years old, my parents used to take me to this beach cafe, cafe in our town. It had, it had a pool, and the cafe, cafe was right, right next, next to the beach. The family, the family that owned the cafe were my family's, my family's close, close friends, so, so I spent a lot of my childhood there. The best, the best part, part about the beach is that when you pass the cafe and the playground, there was a lot of sand and a net for volleyball. As kids, my friends and I would always play there. One ordinary, One ordinary summer, summer night, there was, there was quite, quite a few of us playing, playing in the sand, sand making castles and, and doing, doing other things. All of, All of a sudden, I heard a noise, noise behind, behind me in the bushes, right where, where the sand, sand ended. ended. I should, I should mention, mention that there were woods around, around the whole place, place but, but it wasn't, wasn't deep or anything. anything. I was, I was a, brave a brave kid, so I just brushed, brushed it off as being a cat or an animal of some sort, and continued to play. However, when I looked up at my friends, who were now quiet and staying still, I got the chills. I noticed, I noticed that, that all of their, their eyes had widened. widened. They, were they were staring, staring at, me, at me, or rather, rather at whatever, whatever was behind, behind me. me. The, the shock kicked, kicked in, and I, and felt, I felt like I was going to faint. I started, I started shaking. shaking. I didn't, I didn't even, even want to turn, turn around. But when, but when I, felt I felt something cold on the back, on the back of my, of my neck, neck, that was, that the, was last the last drop. drop. I started, I started running full speed towards the cafe filled with people, and my friends immediately followed behind me. There were, there were six, six children, children crying, crying and screaming at the top, at the top of, our of our lungs. I remember, I remember finally, finally clinging to my mom, mom crying in her arms. arms. Soon, Soon after, after, the sound, the sound of, sirens of sirens followed by police cars parked in front of the air. air. When, when the, the adults, adults talked to the police, police my, my friends and I were confused. I still didn't know what was behind me, so... I asked my oldest friend in the group, who was ten years old, and talking to his dad. It turns, turns out, out there, was there was this crazy, crazy old guy, guy who robbed, robbed a lady and stabbed her to death, death not, not so far, far away from here. here. 
My friends, My friends told, told me he appeared, appeared behind, behind me smiling, smiling like, like a, a sick, sick clown. clown. He was, he was holding, holding a knife, knife and, pressing and pressing it against, against the, back the back of my neck. neck. And that, that must have been the cold, cold thing, thing I felt. I felt. From, then from then on, I never, I never stayed, stayed far away from, from the cafe, cafe when the sun went, went down. down. And, and thankfully, they caught the guy. Okay, that's going to haunt me forever. Tenth video. Four more videos to go. I'm 13 years old. And this story took place when I was 13. My mother was a single mom, and she had to work two jobs. She worked at a grocery store in the morning and a bar at night. So I was home alone a lot, but it was okay because I was used to it. I, could I cook cook myself. myself. I don't yeah. like being home alone. And then back, back scary over as school, I was a pretty, pretty responsible, responsible kid, kid for my age. age. One, One night, I was, I was watching, watching TV while eating, while eating ice cream, cream. And, and someone, someone knocked, knocked at the front, front door. door. I was wondering who it could be as my friends, friends never, never came out this late late in my mom would always use her key to get in. I opened the door, and it was a man standing there with his hands in his pockets. I said hello. He replied, he replied, hello, hello young, young lady, are your are parents, parents home? home? Stupidly, Stupidly. I, said, I said no, my mom, my mom is home right, right now, you have, have to come, come back, back tomorrow. tomorrow. He then, then said, said with a surprised, surprised smile, smile on his face, face. Oh, oh, you're, you're all, all alone, huh? huh? I said, I said uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I am. I am. He, he replied, replied with, okay, okay young lady, have a nice night. Don't, don't get, get into any, any trouble. trouble. He then, he then walked, walked away, away and I closed, closed the, door. the door. He seemed, he seemed friendly, friendly, but also, also weird at the same, same time. time. He, was he was a little, a little funny looking though. though. He was, he was balding, balding and had 70 style, style glasses, glasses on, on. With a with mustache, mustache and bags, bags under his eyes like, like he never slept. slept. About, About 10, 10 minutes passed, passed and there and was another knock at the door. I got up and answered it. But before, before I opened, I opened the, door, the door, something, something told, told me to put the chain, chain on. on. I don't know, I don't know why, why, but my, my gut, gut told me to do that. that. It was, it was strange, strange because we really, really didn't use the chain. chain. But, but I'm, I'm glad, glad I did because, because as soon as I opened the door, door it was, was pushed push open. But the brother stopped by the chain. chain. Before, before I could even say or do anything, I looked at the trap and the door to see the same man again. And he said in a startled voice, Oh, oh. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey there. there. I just I wanted just to make sure, sure you were okay. okay. As, As he stuttered. stuttered. It was it like he nearly failed to get inside, inside the house, house and tried to play off this any, any suspicion, suspicion. By, by speaking, speaking quickly, quickly and making it, it seem like, like he didn't, didn't just obviously, obviously try coming, coming into the house. house. I said, I'm fine, I'm fine thanks. And I shut the door. At that time, I didn't really understand the situation. Or the, or the dangers, dangers of what, what just happened. happened. But, but still, still, I was, I was a, bit a bit freaked out. out. And when, and when my mom came home, home soon, soon, an hour, an hour went by, by. And, I and I was still thinking, thinking about, about what happened, happened. So, so I started, started to watch a movie, movie trying, trying to keep, keep my mind occupied. occupied. When, when I, heard, I heard, Hey, hey, let me let quick. quick. I got to hear something. This was, this was the scariest, scariest situation, situation I've ever been, been in in my life. It was, it was the man, man once again, again who was talking, talking to the letterbox. I shouted, shouted leave me alone. alone. The letterbox letter box closed. closed. Then the, the man, man started, started banging, banging on the front, front door, door screaming, screaming let, let me in, you little shit. shit. While, While slamming, slamming the front, front door, door handle up and down, down trying, trying to get in. I just stood back crying, praying he doesn't get in. He eventually gave up and left. My mom came home about 30 minutes later. Just to, just to find, find me crying. crying. And, I, and told I told her everything that had happened. We told, we told the police, police, but they never, they never found, found this guy. guy. I looked look back, back, and I think, I think how grateful I am that I had a feeling to put, put the chain, chain on the door. door. I hate I to hate think, think what, what that man would have done, done if he if had he managed, managed to get, to get in. in. Eleven. Three more to go. Creepy guy tried to kill me. Tried to kill my family. This, this story, story is totally true. true. 
It happened, it happened to me when I was about, about four, four years old. My dad, my dad used to really like going on vacation, vacation with, with me and my family. family. One, One time, time, we went we to what, what I think was Big Bear, Bear but, I'm but I'm not sure. Anyways, anyways we rented a cabin. cabin. I don't, I don't remember, remember much, but, but I remember the inside, inside of the cabin, cabin was beautiful. beautiful. The furniture, the furniture was all colorful, colorful and decorated, decorated in Christmas, Christmas colors. colors. But it was around Christmas time. time. It was very roomy, and it was two floors and had its own bed, kitchen, and bedroom. We arrived, we arrived during the day, day and, everything and everything seemed normal. normal. When, when night, night came, came, however, we started, we started hearing noises. It sounded, it sounded like, like someone was shaking, shaking the front, front door, door and I was trying, trying to get, get in. I was, I was the first, first to notice, notice and, I and I told my mom. mom. But, she but she didn't believe, believe me. Then, then she, she saw, saw it too. too. For a couple, couple of minutes, minutes the front, front door knob just kept shaking by itself. And we were too afraid to go look out the door. Then they heard another noise. It sounded like, like steel hitting steel. steel. Then, then it stopped. stopped. My, dad My dad was afraid, afraid someone, someone was trying, trying to break, break in. in. So, so we packed, packed up all, all of our things so we could leave. leave. But before, before we did, we did my, dad my dad called the police, police and asked them to come, come search the premises. premises. We exited, we exited out, out the back door because, because the noise was coming, coming from the front. front. Our, our car, car was down the hill from the back of the cabin. I fell asleep, I fell asleep in, the in the car and woke up next morning, morning in a small, small Arby Dink motel room that was left in the room room beautiful as the cabin. cabin. I was, I was so, so bummed, bummed but I was quickly relieved we had we left, left because, because later that day, day we, we found, found out who was making, making no noises. noises. The police, the police had, had arrived there and searched, there and searched the outside, outside and found, found nothing. nothing. Then they, they went inside and found a man that had two hooks instead of hands. He had been pushed in the door and I was his hook. Then he, then he clashed, clashed his hooks together, together and, that's and that's what we heard, heard was, was still on steel. steel. We, we found, found out that about five minutes, minutes after we left the cabin, cabin. he successfully broke in and started and search searching for us. For us. The, the police found body, body stashed, stashed in up upstairs this closet. closet. And we were on our way home from the motel. We stopped at a gas station near the cabin with the madman and tried to break in. My mom knew it was a bad idea, but my dad told her to relax. The cops took care of that guy. He's nowhere near us. We all, we all went, went into the, the little shop to buy some candy, candy and snacks. And snacks. We, were we were quite surprised, surprised when we came, came out of the shop, shop and headed, headed back, back to our, our car. There was, there was no 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 good red. red. There's, There's more, more of us. See you soon. soon. It's, it's safe, safe to say, to say that, that we never, we never went, went back, back to that cabin again. again. Twelve story, two more to go. Height, we know that that story. I didn't, I didn't have, have a driver's driver license. license. Most, Most of the time, time I walked walk or hitchhiked. Hitch there was there one night. night. There weren't there that many cars, cars on the road, and it was very cold. cold. And this man pulled over. When, when the guy pulled over, over I, I, took I took a good look, look at the guy. I figured I could take him if he tried to do anything. He was on the side and had a strange frill on his body. Even though he looked healthy enough. I got into the car. After we agreed on the destination, we exchanged names, names and I was more comfortable in front of the head of him. He spoke quietly, asking a few questions, questions along the lines of, was I local or how, how did I like living, living here? He said he only been here for a few months, months but, but found, found it beautiful. Hope he could, could find happiness, happiness there. there. That, that comment struck, struck me as a little eye, eye. but I brushed it off. It began to snow and the road quickly got slippery. So he so slowly, slowly and he kept, kept his eyes straight out the windshield, driving, driving sightly. I, I was okay, okay with that. that. And small, small talk was never on for a About ten minutes later, I noticed the car right in the intersection. He was approaching. He was flying, so I said, watch, watch out. out. He immediately hit the gas, shooting through the intersection and burst out with, don't ever scream at me. Needless to say, I was taken back. I said, look. This, this is close, close enough. enough. Just, Just pull, pull over here, here and, and I can get, get there. He didn't, didn't see me. Hear me. So, so I said, I said Richard, Richard, did you did hear, me? hear me? I said, I said you can you pull, pull over here and let, let me out. out. But no, no response. response. He just, just stared straight, straight ahead, ahead dropped it fast and out of the gear and started snoring. To say I was scared of the scene that covered the death of the fear that began rising. I didn't, I didn't know, know if, if I, I should, should stay, stay quiet, quiet or, or speak, speak, but I was, I was damn, damn sure not, not going, going to yell after, after his outburst. After, after a while, I began to mumble under breath. breath. 
I couldn't quite make out what he was saying, but I assumed he was speaking to me. So I said, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. He began to speak quietly and rapidly, saying things like, you're always yelling at me. I've told you time and time again, you're not yelling at me. I don't appreciate it. No, you don't listen, you don't listen. Now we're just sitting there looking at him. I was at a complete loss. I didn't, I didn't know what to say in response or, or if I should say anything at all. I contemplated just jumping out of the car, car. but next that I did when I realized the door lock was missing. There was, there was just, just a silver line hole, hole where it should have been. been. I started, I started to, cry to cry and debate with myself about causing an accident by grabbing the wheel, wheel and hoping for the best. best. When, when he, he suddenly, suddenly looked at me for the first time since I had gotten in the car, he blinked several times. Rapidly, rapidly, then, then slowed, slowed the car, the car pulling, pulling into a gas station. station. I, waited I waited to see if he unlocked, unlocked the doors. doors. Not, Not one to say anything and set him off again. After, After a minute, minute or two, two he quietly quiet, said, I think I, think I better, better let you out of here. here. And he and hit the button, button for the door, door locks, locks. And he and opened the door. door. I wasn't, I wasn't about, about to hesitate, hesitate so, so I jumped out of the car if I were on fire. I was, I was about, about to turn, turn and walk to the, the gas, gas station, station when he called, he called my name. name. He looked he so, looked so damn, damn sad and I hesitated. I hesitated. He, he apologized. apologized. Said, said he was, he was sorry, sorry if he had frightened me. me. That he, he never, never would, would harm me. me. And he, he asked if I'd be able to get home okay. okay. I said I, said I, I would, would and closed the door. door. He began to pull out of the gas station, but stopped suddenly. He just, he just sat, sat there, there for, for a couple, couple of moments, moments. His, his head, head down. down. I froze, I froze wondering, wondering what the hell was up. It was, was about to run into the gas station, station. but he opened, opened his window, window and yelled, and yelled it, waving something, something in his hand. hand. My, My hat. hat. I left, I left it, it on the seat. seat. I slowly approached the side of his car, car and he handed it to me, apologizing again. I didn't know what else to say, so I just said, thanks. I watched, I watched as he drove, drove off, off making, making sure, sure he was out of sight before we were leaving, so he would have been in a different direction as, as I walked, I went, I went to put, to put, put my hat back on, and a and piece, piece of paper, paper fell out of it. Folded, folded into a paper with a hundred dollar bill. bill. The paper, paper said, I'm sorry. sorry. Please, Please take, take the cab and don't hitchhike anymore tonight. I did. In fact, it was the, the last, last time, time I ever hitched hiked in my life. life. Will we'll never, never, ever, ever do that again. again. Third story, meaning 13th stor uh, story, so only one more left. This is this a short, short but terrifying, terrifying story, story of something, something that, that happened when I was Snapchat. I'm pretty, I'm pretty young, young, I'm only 13, 13 still, still in middle, middle school. school. A girl, a girl I really liked, liked had just recently, recently started, started snapping, snapping selfie, selfie pictures, pictures. And, we and we started messaging each other for a few nights. nights. One what night when I was watching TV, she sent me a snap of herself laying in her bed, bed without, without a caption. caption. I sent, I sent a, message a message saying what's up. up. She sent she another, another identical, identical picture, picture, this time with a caption saying, not much, you? She set the timer to 10 seconds, so it gave me plenty of time to analyze the picture, including her bedroom backgrounds. And, and the dark, the dark outline, outline of a person, person standing by, by her window. window. I quickly I sent a response, response message saying, is that, is that your brother, brother by the by window? window? She, she sent, sent another, another identical, identical snap. snap. This, this time, time captioned, captioned, what do you mean? mean? In this, this picture, picture, the figure at the window, the window was closer, closer and, I could, and I could see a hand, hand pressed up against the glass. glass. I closed the snap before the timer even ran out so I could tell her quicker. I said, there's somebody at your window, turn around. She opened, she opened my, my snap, snap almost, almost immediately, immediately, and then, and then I, I didn't did hear, hear from her, her again, again on the app. app. I grew, I grew more, more and more worried, worried as the minutes passed. passed. I texted, I texted her, her a few times to no avail. avail. I, tried I tried calling, calling her, her a few times, times to no avail, avail as well. well. I didn't, I didn't know, know her house phone number, or I would have called her parents. It wasn't until midnight when I was already laying in bed that she finally texted me back. She explained the whole situation. As soon as, as, soon as she, she looked, looked at her window and saw the person standing there, she screamed. And that, and that caused the person who turned out to be a 20-something-year-old man to open the window and jump into the room. room. 
From there, there she, she ran, ran to her, her parents' room, room and woke her dad, dad, who went, went to her room, room to find nothing, nothing but an open, open window. window. It wasn't, it wasn't exactly, exactly a personal story of mine, but it, but it freaks, freaks me out nonetheless, knowing, knowing that, that the only thing that saved my friend from whatever, whatever could, could have happened was, was the fact that, that I was able to see the window, the window through, through her selfies, unbeknownst, unbeknownst to the creeper at her window. What's going on? Something was in my apartment. Last video, guys. Before we end this, uh, watch the last video that I have. I wanna thank you all for staying to the end of the video. L sit on that like button. I didn't mean sit on it. Hit smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. I'll leave every video in the link in the description as I said. But until next time, I'll see you then. Let's continue. What did I even say? It's a scary, scary paranormal, paranormal story, story that happened to me in my, my sophomore year in college. college. It, it still, still gives, gives me creeps and scares, and scares me, me to this, this day. day. It's a, it's true, a true story. story. Trust, Trust me. me. As, As New, New Year has just, just begun, begun, I moved, I moved into, into the apartment. apartment. It's a, a two-bedroom two bedroom apartment, apartment with two bathrooms. bathrooms. Me, and me and my housemate got, got our own rooms. rooms. Everything, Everything seemed nice. nice. It got, got along great, great for the first, first week. week. I would, I would often, often wake, wake up to sounds, sounds in the middle of the night coming from the kitchen, since my room was the closest to it. I always assumed it was my roommate having a late-night snack. After, After the second, second week, he told me that he was actually going to drop the university, university because he didn't, he didn't feel, feel so well physically and was kind of homesick. homesick. I was, I was sad, sad that he had, had to go, go but, but I was, I was a, little a little excited thinking that I had, that I had the apartment, apartment to myself and, and wouldn't hear his midnight, midnight lunches. lunches. And that, and that night, night, I woke up to noise from, from the kitchen, kitchen again. again. I was, I was a, bit a bit confused because I was the only one in the apartment. I was alone now. I then, I then went, went to, to investigate, investigate and, and found, found a knife, knife on the floor, floor in the kitchen. kitchen. I put, I put it, back it back in the drawer, in the drawer and, went and went back, back to bed, bed thinking, thinking it might have fallen from the counter. counter. A, few a few nights, nights passed, passed and I didn't, didn't hear a sound, sound except, except for this, this night. night. I heard, I heard some, some sounds coming, coming from, from my closet. closet. It was, it was about 3 a.m. And then I just felt a coldness around me. And my hair was standing up on my whole body. When, when I, woke I woke up to see, to see my, my closet. closet. Suddenly, Suddenly I saw, I saw a, dark a dark figure standing, standing next, next to the closet. It, it looked, looked like a Dementor from, from the Harry Potter, Potter movies. movies. But, but it, it disappeared, disappeared in a few, few seconds. seconds. I figured, I, figured I, was I was having a wild, a wild imagination. imagination. The next, next day, day I felt tired from all, from all my classes, classes. So, so when nighttime fell, fell, I knocked out of my bed. That night was the night I would never forget. I remember, I remember waking, waking up, up to some noise coming, coming from behind, behind me. me. I woke, I woke up, up and, and I realized that I couldn't, I couldn't move. move. All, All I could, I could move were my eyes. eyes. I, was I was laying, laying in bed in fear. fear. My, heart my heart started, started to thump really, really hard. hard. I, felt I felt the cold, cold air behind me. I, I felt this person coming closer. closer. But, but I couldn't hear any footsteps. That's when I realized the bed was shaking viciously. But it wasn't because of me. I tried, I tried to see, to see at, the at the corner of the room, room and, I and I saw the dark, dark figure, figure from the other day. day. This, this time, time it had, had red eyes, eyes like those, those of the devil. devil. My heart, heart sank, sank when, when I saw it. it. Although, Although I wasn't, I wasn't a, strong a strong believer in God, in God until, until that, that moment, I closed, I closed my, my eyes, eyes and started, and started to pray to God to help me. I started to remember my parents and friends. That's when I felt the figure stop. I just kept thinking of everything that made me happy and praying to God to help me. And finally, and finally, I felt, I felt the, dark the dark figure leave, leave the room, room retreating, retreating back, back to its, to its corner. corner. After, After five, five minutes, minutes, I was, I was able, able to move my body. body. I, decided I decided to go, to go sleep, sleep in my neighbor's, neighbor's apartment, apartment for the night, and I, I ran away, away as fast as, as I could run. run. I eventually moved out of that apartment, apartment by the end of the month. month. And, now and now I'm always wondering if those things are what made my housemate. Needless to say, I'm glad I moved out.
And that is the last video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it if you all stayed to the end. And I promise you, every big event like how like to today today is Halloween. There's gonna be Christmas. There's gonna be Christmas stories. There's gonna be Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm just gonna be playing video games because there's not gonna be that many Happy New Year stuff to do. Um. Ha uh, Canada Day. Um, what's another one? Link all the most important days. St. Patrick Day. St. Patrick Day is actually a few days before my birth, after my birthday. So I will be uploading a video of me playing games multiple times. Uh, other than that, I really hope you enjoy. I'm so tired, but I still have to walk my dog there. I'm gonna go to sleep. To be ready for tomorrow for school. I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all enjoyed trick or treating. I hope you guys were safe. And until next time, see you later.